I cannot explain how much this is like a perfect gift. And when I tell you they are so good, one of the best deals of all time, done. It is that time of the year where Alicia does a little holiday gift guide for you guys. Basically, these are all gifts that I think anyone would be grateful for. Well, they should be grateful for anything, first of all, okay? It's Let's say that. I have yet to start my holiday shopping and I'm hoping that this motivates me because I tend to procrastinate and wait too long and then things don't come in time and then I have to airdrop my present to someone because I don't have the physical thing. This year we're gonna try to avoid that. So I'm filming this for you guys, but also for me as a reminder to start my holiday shopping. I also wanted to make sure that these are all under different price points. So we have things under $25, we have things under $50, and then we have things over $100. So no matter what your budget is this year for holiday shopping, hopefully you get some inspiration. Also, just like every year, I am doing Vlogmas on my second channel. So if you want to go subscribe to Alicia Marie Vlogs, you will find daily vlogs there from December 1st all the way to December 25th. Also subscribe to my podcast. But yeah, I'm going to have the link to my vlog channel in the description box. If you're excited for Vlogmas, let me know and comment below some Christmas related emojis. Let's get started. All right, the first thing is definitely for a makeup lover. We are talking some makeup brushes. These are hands down some of the best makeup brushes I've ever tried, let alone the fact that they're a dupe makes it even better and they're on Amazon. These are by the brand Jessup and these are actually a dupe for the Makeup by Ariel brush set. The Makeup by Ariel one sold out so freaking quick, but these are the dupes and when I tell you they are so good. Also what's nice about these is they have so many different like gift sets and kits of different sizes. So depending on your budget, you can get like just the face ones, just some eye ones, or you can get their big collection. There's literally so many. I got one of the bigger sets, but it was only $34, so like 20 out of 10. Even if you don't buy it for someone else and you you just buy it for yourself. Like this should be a gift that you buy yourself because they're definitely affordable, especially compared to other makeup brushes. But on top of it, they're just amazing quality. I love them. Obviously I'm gonna have the links to everything in the description box. So pop on over there if you wanna buy anything, but I'm gonna repurchase these eventually myself. Treat yourself. The next thing I really think someone would love as a gift are these bags. These are also from Amazon, but you can also get them at other places. But these bags, any style, it's not even these spe like the specific brand. I feel like there's a lot of different brands that have bags like this, but these nylon bags have been a literal game changer to my life. And I can't even exaggerate that. I love them. They're easy to clean and they're really affordable depending on the size that you get. But I love the fact that I can color code things. So for instance, this has always been like a tech bag for myself. Like I know the hot pink bag has a mic, a voiceover stuff, like cords, like it's all very techy. Where the light purple one is my makeup. I love the color coding. I love it. The zipper is great quality. It's so easy to clean. And I just, I truly want every color because I want to organize my life. I like them. I believe the bigger ones are around $18, but they vary obviously depending on what size that you get. And trust me, the bag will get used. All right. I love Skims, okay? Even if you don't like Kim Kardashian, you need to try the brand, okay? It's one of the best brands, honestly. They obviously have a lot of clothes, a lot of lingerie and all that kind of stuff. Literally the top that I'm wearing is from Skims. I love it that much. I'm obsessed with it. But specifically, I think their PJs and robes are the best and the best for gifts. This is one of the Skims robes. And I, first of all, can we talk about this packaging? Adorable, cute. Obviously this is a little more of a luxurious item. This is around $80, obviously for a robe that can be a lot. This is the Cozy Knit Unisex Robe. So it's this very like blanket material, but they have so many different kinds on the website. But I'm not kidding when I tell you, this is definitely a gift people will love. And it's something that will last a really long time. The quality is amazing. It feels just like a blanket. I cannot explain how much this is like a perfect gift. Like I can't even, I can't. This is a bodysuit from Skims. They have obviously so many different types. I'm telling you when I wear this, I look like, whoosh, like just, I look good. Something about this material, it just forms to your body in all of the right places. This one is $60, it is more expensive. Obviously there are definitely Amazon dupes. I'll have some linked down below, but I will say the quality of the Skims one is better. I used to think the Amazon one was better. And then when I actually compared them side by side, I feel like I definitely noticed a difference with the Skims one, but again, not everyone has $60. So save your money and get a dupe if that's all you can afford. <gasps> Wow, why am I talking so fast? The next item is another luxurious one. It's definitely a little more higher on the price point budget area, but I have to say, holy shit, 
If you're shopping for a makeup lover or if you're a makeup lover yourself and you're already buying the brushes and you wanna spend some more money, may I recommend the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes? Oh my god i'm not one to buy multiple things of something i have four and i feel like that says a lot i'm obsessed these are truly some of the most stunning and gorgeous colors i've ever seen i'm not kidding these are so pigmented and on top of it they come with 15 eyeshadows each i feel like they're actually worth the price if i had to recommend one of these it would probably be the i need a nude palette i've been using this one a lot obviously it's just like perfect nude colors and stuff i just like i cannot recommend these enough i'm obsessed with them i know it's definitely a little more expensive but i have bought palettes for 50 dollars that have no color payoff so i feel like it's worth the extra money and it will last you forever like seriously these are my holy grail eyeshadow palettes. The next one is something I actually get questions all the time. I do a lot of like TikToks or shorts of me curling my hair and I can't tell you how many comments are people asking what curling iron I'm using. This is the GHD Curve Curling Iron in the 1.25, one and one quarter inch barrel. These are around $200, again, a little higher of a price point, but again, again, I've used curling irons that are cheaper and I feel like within a year I have to get a new one and I feel like by the time I add up all of those, I could have just gotten this from the beginning. This has lasted me years. Like when I tell you, GHD is such an amazing brand. Can't imagine my life without it. I used it today. Remy also uses this. Like truly one of the best investments. It's also healthier for your hair. Oh, also it, I kid you not, it heats up in less than 20 seconds. So quick, unbelievably quick. I don't know what else to say other than I love it. The next thing, I've definitely talked about these so much, but there's a reason and they deserve all of the hype. I'm currently wearing them. They are my Kiss Impress Press On Lashes. I order these in bulk. I'm not exaggerating. I've gotten so many friends to start using these. They go under your lashes. You just like pop them on. So easy. And because they're under your lashes, when I look down, you don't see a lash band. Again, I know I've talked about these so much. I literally just order them in bulk on Amazon. I forget the exact price, but they're around $14, $15 ish around there. These are the curly. I'm currently wearing the natural ones, and I feel like those are the ones I definitely recommend, or the voluminous. But if I had to suggest one, it'd be the natural. We don't have time for our lash bands showing, okay? Also, great stocking stuffer. If you need an idea to tell someone what to get you, a gift under $20, boom, done. Done. The next thing is something that truly has changed my life. I'm talking about the walking treadmill pads. I think because a lot of us either work remote or work from home, we are looking for any way to get our extra steps in. This says a lot. I have a big treadmill in the garage, but I actually prefer using this treadmill. I got it off of Amazon. I researched these for so long because I was trying to find the, like, the perfect one to get for me. And I wanted one that had the arms with it because I wanted to be able to add a computer desk so I can walk, get my steps in, while I'm working on my computer. So like walking at a slow speed. So the one that I got was around $300 and then for 36 or $40, I bought this tabletop, which you can put on any treadmill. So if you have your own treadmill already, you can buy just the desk part, but I bought both of them together and I love them. I'm obsessed. I will sit there getting all of my work done, answering all my emails. And the next thing I know, I've been walking for an hour and a half when before I would have just been sitting on my couch. Like best investment for my health. I think that's a better investment than a gym membership that you're not gonna use. And it has wheels so you can easily like move it around. It folds down, it's super compact, like considering the fact that it's a treadmill. I love it, cannot rave enough about it. And um, I think everyone needs one, genuinely. I feel like you can't have a holiday gift guide without talking about the Sephora perfume sampler. It is seriously one of the best deals of all time. It's $85 and you get like an array of perfume samples and you can try out whatever you wanna try out. Then once you pick a favorite perfume, it actually comes with a card and you can bring it to Sephora and you get a full size version of one of the samples. Great deal, especially if you're trying to find your signature scent. But if you just want two recommendations, these are two of my favorite perfumes. One of them is the Fenty perfume. I feel like this is being slept on. Like I swear, I feel like people aren't talking about it. It is one of my favorite perfumes. They only have one scent out. So it's literally just called the Fenty perfume. Like there's no other name to it. It's like floral, but has that musky scent and definitely some like hints of vanilla. One time I literally got in an Uber and the guy at the end of the ride goes, I'm so sorry to, to bother you, but can you, could, what perfume are you wearing? I was like, it's the Fenty perfume. Like this lasts so long. If you're shopping for someone who's looking for perfume, like I feel like this is great. They even have a little travel size one, which would be good just so they can try it out. Cause you know, it's kind of hard shopping for someone else's scent, but I feel like the mini versions are 
Amazing. The other perfume that I adore and love so much is the Byredo Gypsy Water. This was the first perfume that I ever realized is, I think I just sprayed that in my eye. It smells great though. <coughs> I just ate it. <coughs> it tastes great though. <coughs> this was the first time I ever found a perfume that I felt like it was my scent. Like it, it just fit me and I loved it so much. So this is my favorite. This is the second full bottle purchase of this that I've gotten. That says a lot. Another thing at Sephora with the holiday sets and stuff, the Tarte Maracuja Lip Balm. I think regularly they're $25. They're really nice, I will say. I love those. But for the holiday set, you actually get three of them for $40. So you actually save quite a bit of money and I feel like it's perfect. Also, if you're looking to like divvy up stocking stuffers or something, you get three, boom. Three people, done. The next thing I feel like every gift guide also has, but we gotta talk about Dyson, the Dyson hair dryer. So if you are just looking for a hair dryer, I actually recommend this hair dryer so much. I love mine. I feel like it's the best. I've just never had a hair dryer dry my hair so fast without burning it. Also like, huh? I think they're like $400 at Costco right now. Like you just gotta look for the deal. Do a little research because you seriously never know where the best deal is gonna be. So if you want something a little simpler, but still the Dyson brand, I actually really, 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 really recommend just the traditional hair dryer. All right. The next thing is a gift I would love, but also this is literally basically the scent of my house. If you're ever wondering what it smells like here, this is the Capri blue volcano candle basically oh my god i love this candle i can't explain it this scent is heavenly it actually has a, a slight hint of citrus believe it or not but it smells it's so good you can actually buy these off of amazon and they have so many different sizes this is like one of the biggest sizes you can get so she's pretty hefty it's actually by the brand capri blue and i love them so much. The candles have a near and dear place in my heart because they are amazing and I love them and the scent's beautiful and 10 out of 10, great gift. All right, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is something that genuinely is so trendy right now, but also a great gift for life. And I'm talking about the point and shoot cameras, okay? It does not have to be this one. This is the Canon PowerShot ELF 180. These ones are pretty hard to find. This one's like old, so I would also recommend the ELF 360. That's also a really good one. There is just something about going out, hanging out with your friends and bringing a camera like this along. Like it feels like you're in the early 2000s. And honestly, it's so nice taking photos on a camera versus your phone where it's just gonna get lost in your phone library. I bring this everywhere with me and I've been using it like over a year now. Honestly, it's just so fun, it's nostalgic and it's fun to get photos of your friends and be more in the moment. So I know I talk about this a lot, but genuinely it's one of my all time holy grail favorites that I think everyone should try out. Canon, camera, you like just, anyway, I genuinely feel like I could do a part two cause I love giving product recommendations, but hopefully this inspired you for some holiday gift shopping or maybe a holiday wish list if you don't know what to ask for yourself. And yeah, let me know if you're excited for Vlogmas. Don't forget to subscribe to my second channel and this channel also, obviously. But um, yeah, I love you guys so much and I'm so excited to spend all of December with you. I love you guys, Mwah. bye.